Well, hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm gonna make a recipe that I promised you in a previous video that I would share with you. Super simple, three ingredients, four ingredients basically, and uh, just about as easy a recipe and delicious. Everyone loves this. So if you're um, in the mood for something really crispy and decadent, but yet really pretty guilt-free, this is your ticket. So if this inspires you to stay along for my baked, crispy baked zucchini, I would love it if you'd give me a thumbs up, maybe go share it on your Facebook page, uh, give somebody else a new idea. Go down in that show more box below and hit my Facebook page link. Go over there and hit that like button if you're not already over there. Join in on that conversation and see what I'm posting and what others are posting over there. As well as, if you decide to, go ahead and uh, visit my Wild Tree website and see what's going on over there. All right, guys, let's go make these beautiful, delicious uh, baked zucchini. Come on. Okay, guys, I am so excited that you stayed for this. This is super simple. You couldn't get any easier, honestly. All this is is um, a few ingredients. We're gonna do some zucchini. I did a video uh, a few videos back where I actually had zucchini um, baked zucchini on my plate and I showed you how crispy and crunchy it was and promised you I would bring you along for this so this is how it goes and it was absolutely we've had it a couple of times one of the girls made it at the salon at home we all it's, it's a favorite we all love it so what you want is I've got here I'm going to because it's not a protein I can use this tomorrow and make some more so if I have too much I'm okay with that but you want about a three-fourths of a cup of pesto use your favorite brand make your own it's however you want to do it is how it should be okay now you can add extra garlic a lot of times I add extra garlic in there but this is a really garlicky one that I've done so I'm gonna leave it alone this time and then you want plain yogurt. You don't need Greek yogurt for this. You need plain fat-free yogurt um, to keep the calorie count down if you're looking at that. If you want to make it richer, go ahead. And so then what I do is I start adding, and that's about, oh, a third of a cup of yogurt. And I start adding it because the zucchini is such a mild vegetable. You want to make sure that you are seasoning it well and this is going to be our seasoning so now what I'm going to do is take a clean spoon I say a little bit more yogurt but not a lot maybe a quarter of a cup I'm not a huge fan of most of the time I'm not a huge fan of pesto without toning it down with something I mean I would just you know by itself it's so strong and okay now we need to get a clean spoon and taste it mmm and the parmesan in there mmm yum wow that is delicious you know I'm gonna leave Pico it right there is the way to go so now and all we're gonna what's do gonna happen is you want your oven preheating as well. I've got my oven preheating at 400 degrees. Now I've got my little cooking tray here, my baking pan, and I've got it lined with foil just to catch some of the breadcrumbs, but I have a wire rack. You want them up on a wire rack so they can crisp on all sides. That's kind of the key there. And the oil that happens to be in this pesto is gonna help the browning as well. So you just dip it, make sure you got a good, you know, slathering of pesto, and you're gonna take your breadcrumbs, and I like to pat them down. You know, make sure you got a good amount on all sides, and that when you touch it, you're not feeling wet. And then you're gonna put that on the tray. I'm going to finish dipping and breading all of these, get them ready to go in the oven, and I'll bring you back because you don't need to sit there for all that. You'll see how easy it is. It's fabulous. So we're ready to put this in the oven. I actually am going to have to have a couple of batches because I'm using my on-the-counter 
uh, convection oven that I don't want to heat up the house and this will be plenty for tonight and I can do the rest tomorrow that yogurt and pesto uh, can go in the refrigerator for you know up to a week and be just fine for dipping and um, you guys already saw a different a slightly different but same component recipe for chicken it's fabulous on chicken so this is absolutely wonderful I can't stress it enough how absolutely fabulous this recipe is so I'm gonna put this in a 400 degree oven until they're Big crispy and I have some of the pesto with some beautiful basil out of my garden um, just to, so if you want to dip it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a piece here crispy uh, golden brown I'm gonna grab a piece and take a bite with the pesto I think so I don't have to double dip so I'll take a little dip in the pesto even though I don't think I'm gonna need it let me make sure I see what you see so I got a little dip of pesto on there and then um, and then I'm gonna take a bite without it mm. Mmm. Wow. I like having that extra bam. The pesto. That's so good. Oh, I love this. Okay. Now, without it. Mmm. It's crispy. It's delicious. You can taste that seasoning from the pesto and the yogurt. It just really works. It's so good. So good. Okay, hold on. Last bite. Mmm. That crunch makes me feel like I've had something so I'm not supposed to. This yet. inspires you to stay with me, and I hope it does. Go down and uh, maybe give me a like if you like this video. Share it on your Facebook page. And if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. In the description box, show more box below, I've got my Facebook page as well as my Wild Tree website. But most of all, I just hope I see you next time and that you stay with me. And... We'll just share this journey together because this was delicious. And you know the next recipe I have coming up is going to be just as fun. All right, guys. As always, I can't wait to see you next time. And God bless.